Hey, it's Eddie from 94 Molecules for Life here at the BIOS 2017. And uh, let's go inside and see what is new. Right. Hello, my name is Uwe Wortmann from Peacock One Company. Happy to be on this uh, blog again <laughs> this year. So what I want to show you today is what we call Rapid Flim. It's basically a technology where we are able to circumvent the two typical dead time effects in uh, lifetime imaging, which is one from the TCSPC electronics and a second one from the detector. By having not this dead times in the loop anymore, we are able to measure flim pictures up to about 10 frames per second, which is about a factor of 100 times faster than before. And with this 10 frames per second, you are now able to see moving objects in cell, the flim, and uh, binding, unbind, uh, uh, binding and uh, uh, uncaging of things or inside a cell, which are not visible before because it was a stationary process. You can see here some pictures where you see those flim cell, flim pictures where the cell moves around on five to six frames per second. So that's the latest from Pico Quant. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, I'm Eileen Dan. Okay, I come from Vista Optronic Incorporation, and uh, I'm pre present our new products for you. Uh, this is our smallest. Uh, disposable endoscope and it might be the smallest endoscope in the world okay and uh, it can be applied uh, almost everywhere inside your body our target is that we want to extend your vision inside your body let me show you some uh, demo we are going to see the black line under Franklin, okay, you can see a line, black line in your eyes only. But let's see what this camera can see. The outer diameter of this camera only 1.5 millimeter, okay. Please show uh, the TV. Okay, let's see Franklin, under Franklin, there's USA line under there. But in your eyes, actually, it's only uh, black lines there, okay? You have clear uh, imaging without any distortions, okay? So, we hope this product can help this world better, okay? Thank you. I'm Justin Harris uh, from Nano Hybrids Inc. out of Austin, Texas, and I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about this, this cool technology that we have using gold nanorods to uh, to help target cancer in vivo. So, uh, so what we can do with these gold nanorods is you can actually put uh, antibodies or targeting mechanisms on the surface that basically seek out. Uh, cancer within the body. So while they circulate through, they find these cancer uh, or these cancer cells already attach, and then we're able to do something called photoacoustic imaging to be able to identify them and actually image them non-invasively and determine where these cancer cells are showing up. So gold nanorods have a uh, cool property of absorbing at a different wavelength depending on what size they are and uh, what their different aspect ratios are, so the, the length to width. So by tuning that, we can make them absorb within the near IR range. The cool thing with the near IR is that it's in a portion of the uh, spectrum that our body doesn't naturally absorb in. So you're able to actually get light all the way uh, 
within the body and get a depth of penetration that becomes useful for imaging cancer uh, at depth. And so once they absorb, they, uh, they create this pulsed, uh, so excuse me, you hit them with a pulsed laser and uh, at that point they absorb, they heat, contract, heat, contract, heat, contract. And this creates a ultrasound wave that can then be read out by standard ultrasound transducers. So by combining all of this, we're able to non-invasively image cancer within the body. So we talked a little bit about uh, photoacoustic imaging already, but one other cool part that we can do with these nanoparticles is use them for something called photothermal therapy. So this is more of a uh, actually treatment of cancer approach. So what you can do is you inject these molecularly targeted nanoparticles. They find your cancer as they did for the photoacoustic imaging, but now we're actually trying to kill and destroy the cancer cells. So what? Instead of using a pulsed laser like we did for photoacoustics, now we're using a continuous wave laser. So there we hit the nanoparticles with the correct wavelength to, uh, to start exciting them. As they're excited, they heat. As they heat, they kill whatever they're attached to. Since we use that molecular targeting to make sure that it's only cancer, then we're killing our cancer cells while keeping the healthy tissue alive. And this gives a lot of options for treatment that are uh, much safer uh, than general chemotherapeutics and other sorts of radiation therapy. Hi, my name is uh, Marcus, I'm with IR Sweep, and I'm happy today to show you the first frequency comp uh, spectrometer in uh, the mid-infrared. And this is the IR spectrometer. It uses mid-infrared frequency comps, which um, allow to have uh, very high resolution down to milliwave numbers uh, with, a, with a spectral coverage of up to 150 inverse centimeters. And with that, we achieve a time resolution of uh, about one, one microsecond with a continuous um, acquisition of the, of the full uh, spectrum. As an example here, we have um, a uh, silicon ethylon that has a periodic absorption, of course, and with that, we see live on the screen uh, this periodic absorption. In, in this kind of setup, the, the sampling is, is uh, different from the, from the spectral resolution. Um, and you can see this as we tune the absorption points through the regular absorption features of the ethanol. We think this is especially interesting for any applications in very fast spectroscopy, anything that happens on a microsecond scale, and of course things that require the, the high brightness of a laser source so that you can transmit the thicker, stronger absorbing samples like uh, uh, proteins and water or things like that. Alexander from Caliber uh, Imaging and Diagnostics. This is our um, RSG4 uh, compact Im uh, confocal imaging system. Basically a very unconventional confocal. It is a system that we've taken the microscope out of the, uh, out of the equation where we have an imaging mod module head. Uh, we've got the ability to do rapid, rapid scan, rapid imaging. In the head we've got uh, a couple of detectors, PMTs, uh, resonance scanner, we have a uh, filter wheel, two filter wheels, per, filter wheel per detector, We've got uh, Z motor pin, pinhole assembly, fiber optic cable to a visible or a, to a, a laser launch box with four visible lasers. The uh, a very highly accurate XY stage. The key is the resonance scanner XY stage uh, interaction. The we tune the frequency of the resonance scanner to the XY stage. Uh, that way, we're able to do rapid imaging. So what we're, what we can do is we can image acquire and stitch uh, all, all at the same time. We don't have to stop the stage to image uh, a particular uh, tile or image field of view. So uh, just a quick little uh, demonstration of the unit. Uh, right now what I have on here is a, a, is a mouse kidney section. It's uh, about 10 millimeters by 8 millimeters. Uh, and I'll just do a simple little acquisition of a, a 3 by 3. So again, I've got the unit set for a 3 by 3 mosaic. We'll start it up, and there's our live image. 
excuse the vibrations. Uh, so I'll start the unit. Again, it's a 405, 488, and 561. So we start, start the unit going. It's got two detectors, so we do two colors simultaneously. As you can see, each tile is, is imaged, acquired, and then stitched to the previous one. A few rows back, we do some, uh, we, we stitch the strips together. And then after it's done, we'll do a complete seam carve or um, you know, it uses pixel recognition software to get, get the, uh, get the best, best look or best uh, fit of the unit. So that did the first two colors. Now it's going to come back and repeat uh, the, the final color, which is a um, um, Alexa 488 uh, a GFP signal. So then after this is done, it'll it'll do a do a quick uh, seam carve, and then combine the uh, combine the images to to where we have our finished product or finished image. So again, with, with this particular uh, sample, I'm using a 40x oil objective, 1.3 nan uh, numerical aperture. So we can zoom into that that individual uh, tile or individual field of view, which is about approximately 300 microns. Uh, and then we can cycle through each each individual wavelength and see the different uh, expression of the of the um, of the 404. So that's basically our RSG4. Uh, thank you.